Hey guys, today I'm going to be kind of just showing you how to tint this little uh, little ram placard on the the plastic trim. This is a 2021 20, TRX, I think. 2021, 2022. 20, they're probably they're probably all the same. Uh, it doesn't really match the truck and the guy wants to cover this up and kind of make it a little more black to match the plastics there's not a whole lot of like this brush aluminum chrome on his version of the TRX which is red and black basically uh, as you can see he had me red out the TRX on his oh my god uh, that little hidden compartment in the dash so he wanted me to cover this up uh, I think it will work great as long as you don't have a lot of foot traffic on it it might get scuffed up but I mean I think most of the people who drive these trucks are pretty careful about getting in and out and not scratching this this brush aluminum I mean feels metal so I'm not going to take it out because I'm afraid I'm going to bend it if it is metal and then it will permanently crease it. So I'm just going to do it while it is laid into the plastic trim. And what we're going to be using is a uh, Lux light wrap. It's you could probably use normal tint because there's not a whole lot of um, air that can get caught in this because it is almost basically flat. There's just a little bit of uh, indentations for the ram and like this little symbol here. So again, Lux Light Wrap has the air release liner. So that's what we're gonna be using. This is medium. So there's light, medium, and dark. I tried dark on it. It's pretty dark. Uh, light was kind of pointless. Medium seems just right. It's gonna give you that kind of black chrome finish if you will it's nothing like a black chrome real black chrome but you know it's certainly better than just having a random piece of uh silver trim silver twim silver trim when you have black outlining trim everywhere else so it's like make sure you can no nope, you can't see that but you have like this black trim here you know you got your black trim accents so it doesn't really match so we're going to try to just give it a little dark finish. So this is more of like an idea. If you want to get rid of this, this is, this is going to work. As long as you're not, you know, obviously getting a lot of foot traffic. So make sure your surface is pretty, pretty clean and prepped because you want to make sure uh, you're super clean. So we don't get any pull up. And if you know how to get this thing out, that would, you know, make this a little bit easier. But I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess it up and wrinkle it and have to buy a new piece. So make sure your outside's pretty clean. Because if it touches it, we want to make sure that it doesn't mess up. And it's going to dry out the plastic, so you're going to want to re- uh, shine these plastics up too because you're wiping off any shiny film uh, shiny coating on it that you have put on when you've detailed it hopefully you're detailing these trucks they're very expensive okay so here we go Lux Light Wrap and I suggest you know, making sure you're lined up on it. And you can use uh, wrap gloves. I'm just going to use my finger. But just lay down one side and work it across with your finger. Just kind of make sure that you get all those indentations because you don't want any little bubbles getting caught 
in the indents because then it's going to look super tacky. We want it to look like this was made to made from the factory. So just kind of pushing it across a little bit at a time. Take your time. We're in no hurry. I'm sure you could go a lot faster, but I'm gonna do a thorough job. That's what keeps a customers if you're doing this getting paid for it coming back or if it's your little project you're gonna see it every single day well every time you drive this thing you don't you don't want that bothering you at least I know it would bother me all right Pushed all the way across. I'm just gonna kind of <clears throat> do a wrap glove real quick. You don't have to. Uh, you could probably use a rag. This will just help glide across the surface a little bit better. see I don't know let's see how it looks on the camera yeah see it kind of gives it a black chrome a black chrome finish if you will uh, I got another tool I'll be right back let me get it so once you have it uh, all pressed down there pretty good uh, I have this thing called a roller pro uh, I use it a lot for rivets or uh, surfaces that have a slight texture helps uh, push down the vinyl a little better it's a foam roller so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna hit it with the heat gun get a little bit of heat let it warm up and then i'm gonna roll it again and uh, that should help really suck it in and plus i think heating up this material uh, you will see some little uh, cross hatches on the back. Of the okay, my phone died mid-film because it was a little too hot. I'm out in the sun right now. So as you can see, I have it down where we don't have any bubbles in the um, raised parts. So now I just have to trim it. I'll show you a trick on trimming this. If you're doing it in the sun where it gets hot, uh, the vinyl will get a little gummy. But yeah, so once you get it uh, pushed down, you're probably going to have a squeegee. You can use the edge of, edge of a squeegee. I have like these little wrap tools that will push. So you're going to want to lift up the edges and allow it to push in. Just kind of give it a little push in there. But I mean, look at that. That's pretty freaking sick. That looks like black chrome. Almost looks like it's supposed to supposed to be like that so just give it a good uh, push around the whole thing and then let's give it a trim okay so the trick if the vinyl is still warm and kind of gummy it's very hard to cut you're gonna want like a super super fresh this is a fresh blade right here uh, these red ones work pretty good I get them from fellers uh, but the trick is is the old duster stuff. What you do is when you're a kid and you used to freeze bugs, <laughs> you'll flip it upside down. I can't do it because if I set up the camera, it's going to get hot and overheat. But you're just going to want to give a little spray and that will obviously cause it to get very cold and then the vinyl is harder and easier to cut. So I'll show you what it looks like after we cut it and using the little freeze trick. And there you have it, little home, homemade black chrome. Worked pretty good, just cut in that trough carefully, don't slip out so you don't cut any of the plastic. Uh, yeah, 
then once you're done, just go around it, push it down if you got some little spots. It'll hide down in the trough, the little edging. And man, that looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Um, yeah, got any questions, where to find the material or whatever, just uh, message me on this, uh, like it, whatever. Hopefully it was helpful. Awesome. Thanks for watching.